if you're watching this video, you may be wondering who this character known as Abraham is. Well, he's Abraham, a longtime friend of mine. Also, young beyond his years. Good morning, YouTubers. Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar here. And the only thing better than a cup of joe in the cold morning is a bunch of high voltage DC needing landing. So I'm about to make up these DC disconnects. The solar array is uh, almost complete. So we got some of these wires are hot, some of them aren't. I'm going to be testing them, and I'm also going to be just landing one wire at a time, so I don't have to worry about popping myself with that high voltage DC. Okay, so here's that IMO switch made up. It's actually a four pole switch. There it is right there. Um, and you can see it's got different amperage ratings based on how the switch is configured. We don't use it as a four pole switch. We use it as a two pole switch. And we have each one of our arrays going through it. These switches, um, they're sold by IMO and they are the cheapest and most reliable way in my opinion to to do a uh, these high voltage dc disconnect they're awesome switches Let's see if i can get that cover on for you got that it doesn't want you to open the cover up there it is so you just gotta mount them good because they are in a plastic case but this is the switch that's on a lot of solar edge and sma inverters so nice dc switches making them up if you're making up wires and somehow you can't make them not hot just make up one at a time and leave the other one taped up and you're fine uh, if you touch a hot wire on a solar array if it's not ground referenced it's not going to get you so the man lift really helps it keeps you from running all over the roof it was hard for me to justify it at first, but it's not anymore because you don't have two guys on ropes, which these guys aren't on ropes because this is such an easy roof, but you don't have, you don't run all around the roof. You don't tear the roof up and you don't have somebody getting all fatigued by carrying panels all over the place, stepping on rails, stepping on wires, wearing the roof out, wearing themselves out. The installers can focus on landing the cables, managing the cables, keeping the panels straight and then you got the machine doing all the work of getting the panels up there. So it really makes a nicer way to install and this is the way we've kind of gone uh, from panel hucking, the panel hucking days where you set a ladder up, drag panels up a ladder, march all the way over to wherever you are in the array and by the time you're done you're just worn out. So you can go faster like this, uh, it's a lot safer, you can get more panels up and you can do a better job so in my opinion using that lift which is you know usually about a thousand bucks extra on a job is totally worth it it just keeps everybody a lot safer a lot more comfortable and the better you feel the better job you're going to do in my opinion we really try to take care of everybody because solar is one of those trades where you have super high turnover on your installers so to retain skilled labor is a difficult thing to do one of the ways to do it is to make it as easy on your installer as you can so there's abe there's some cables and Antonio's on his first panel mount. And now you can probably also see why every time I drive down the road and see a couch on the side of the road, I stop and gut it. Right there, that cushion right there, that's a premium cushion. That's one of the new ones. That's a Cadillac. It's got two different types of foam on it. So don't throw them couch cushions out, folks. Be safe out there. So sometime you gotta throw in a little unit strut. Support the cables. There's our cable bundle. Cable tray. Got it good and supported with a little bit of thin strut. Where's face? That's the 14 thin. And we are just about to have this array slapped together. There we go. That's that roof penetration, folks. You really can't be enough of a nut when it comes to dressing all your wires. If you're trying to go for that 25 year install, you gotta dress your wires right. Folks, we got us 142 panel array set up here. I can't even total it up, but it's 320 watt panels, three strings of 14, or three rows of 14, 42 panels, and uh, it's probably somewhere around 13 kW, 14 kW. But she's looking good. She's real straight. Abe. Hey. Got anything you have to say about this? Do you like that base? 
Yep. You like that RT Mini? RT Mini did good. RT nice Mini did good. If you're going to penetrate a roof, definitely a good attachment. You don't have to worry about a lot of stuff. So. And now it's on to the next roof. Yep. So we're headed over there.